Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Krug from Behind the Scanner. You may also know me in game as Agent Red Solo Cup. Today I've gotten a lot of questions about missions. Uh, I was selected to be one of the few people who could go before they went released and create some. And so instead of answering all these same questions over and over, I figured I would just create a how-to video on how to create them and what goes into them. So here you go. First thing about missions is that you have to actually log into a mission author or mission creator web panel. Um, not everybody's going to have access to this. Right now, it's only the people that were selected for the beta testing of it. Uh, the post that I saw on Ingress said they're going to be rolling this out to everybody shortly, probably slowly. There are some bugs. You'll see those in just a second. Uh, but this is basically what it looks like. Once you log in, you're presented a page of all of your missions that you've created to date. You can edit them. You can unpublish them. Um, and if you've not created anything, you'll just have this orange Create New Mission button. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And the first thing you want to do is select the mission type. You have sequential, which sounds exactly like what it is. You basically have to visit portals or waypoints in a specific order in order to complete the objectives. And one cool feature is that you can hide their location and provide clues to them. So almost like a scavenger hunt. And the other option is just basically create a list of portals that people can just go to in any order. So we'll click on the sequential one first. Notice I changed to orange, and then we'll click on mission details. First thing you have to do is give the mission your name. This is what's going to show under the missions tab in the application itself. When you click on that in the game is when you get the description. And there, this is also the text that will be shown on the medal when people click on the medal as well. Um, the next thing is to upload an icon. Now, a little tip I found because your single image will be used as both a logo and the metal is create the image a little bit smaller than 512 by 512, maybe like 4, 450 by 400 or 450 by 450, and then expand the canvas to be 512 by 512. That'll put some, some space around your logo. Um, you can use transparent logos, solid logos, solid background logos, doesn't really matter. But that allows it to kind of show nicely when it's in the metal form. Otherwise, you may clip your image when it's in the metal form. So we'll just do a test. Go and choose our waypoint. What happens here is you're basically presented a souped up version of the Intel map. On the left hand side are portals and field trips. Basically, lets you select uh, field trip waypoints or portals to use in your mission. Up here is the standard go-to location bar that you would see on the Intel page. And then over here you have an actual search the titles and descriptions from everything you see on the map tool, which is really, really useful. Although I'm zoomed out at a level that it probably wouldn't be useful right now. The other thing is at the bottom is you need a minimum of four waypoints to actually create a mission. So you can't just create a mission to go hack one portal. That's that's not the point of these. So um, let's just go ahead and type Washington DC where I live. And here we go. What's going on is these orange blobs, you'll notice this one right here says 81. There are 81 portals in this area. You'll notice that Washington DC proper has about 7,000. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. Should start to come into focus. Still at the cluster level, there's a lot of them in DC. Once it's done updating, here you go. So the binoculars are the field trip waypoints and the little crown looking things are, are the portals. That's a portal icon. So um, I haven't really used the field trip waypoints, so I just toggle them off. You can toggle them both off. Uh, not sure what that really gets to, but there you go. And then all you have to do is, is pick the portals you want to use. So Right now, again, remember we're in a sequential mode, so I would want somebody to go to this portal first, which is the Metropolitan Club of DC. Click Add Waypoint. And then you have a bunch of objectives. And so the objectives that you can do are hack the portal, install a mod on the portal, capture the portal for your faction, and keep in mind, if the portal is currently your faction, then your players are gonna have to Ada or Jarvis it to flip it, and then they'll be able to capture it. Create a link from this portal, create a field with this portal, and enter a passphrase. 
The links and fields, there's, there's a little bit of a quirk with these because obviously you can't specify where you're going to link to. So if you want somebody to create a field, then I would suggest doing adding every portal you want the field to be created from as a create link, and then also add a second action for create a field with this portal. Um, I haven't tested this out, so I don't know if this one create a field with this portal just means the last portal that is used to create the field, or if all three portals that you selected have to be used in the field creation. So if you guys get a chance to go out there and test it, there's a mission in Washington, D.C. to field over the Capitol. Let me know how that works out. Um, otherwise, we'll just do create a link. And you can you can do multiple actions for the same portal as well. So you can uh, click off this guy and then click back on him. So now you've got two actions for the same portal. So maybe what you want to do first is capture it and then do the link. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our second, really our third portal. Use that one. And we need a fourth portal. So we use that one. There you go. And you're seeing, since this is a sequential portal, you're going to see the lines, the path that people have to go. Kind of helpful. Visualize things. Yeah. And why not? We'll do a fourth one or fifth one. So that's really all there is to it. These are the actions you have. Then from here, all you have to do is click on preview mission. This sort of gives you an overview. It's gonna show you the area that your portals are in and then all the actions that you selected that are the objectives that you're gonna make people do for those portals. Once you click submit mission, it's live. Everybody can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my missions. Delete this guy. And I'll show you what any order is. And this information. We'll give this a shot. I don't think it's going to work. That, folks, is why it's limited right now to a small number of testers. So it has been reported. I can promise you I did it myself. Niantic's working on it. At any rate, so we're going to choose waypoints. Zoom in to Washington, D.C. again. Now, actually, an important thing to note is I can create missions anywhere in the world. So if I wanted to actually do London, I can create missions in London. So you don't have to physically be living or near or at the city you're in. We'll just use London as an example since we're here. So... There's no difference to this screen versus the sequential screen, other than when you select a second portal, you don't get that path because you're not doing anything sequentially. So the options are still the same, hack, install a mod, capture, link, create a field, and enter a passphrase. Passphrase is kind of cool. Just type in the question to ask an agent. They must know the answer and then they will complete that objective. You can also type in a custom description so you can rearrange the order of, order of the portals. So, Narcus Bike Store can be first or second. You can also delete it. That's about it for creating missions. It's pretty simple. They've done a really good job with the interface. I'm sure like other people wish we could do just a few more things within the objectives, possibly specifying the portals to link to maybe, or creating faction only missions. But one thing to know right now is that any mission you create can be completed by both factions. Um, I took that into account when I created mine. I, I basically created some touristy type things, uh, some commuter missions because DC is a heavy commuter area, and then some fun sort of battle over these neighborhood type things. So. Um, I've got some other things in draft right now. That's the other thing. When you create a mission, as you're going along, it's going to auto save. So you don't have to save anything. The downside to it is if you're editing a mission that is currently published, you basically unpublish it. Don't click this button right here. Do not click that button if it's live. But when you click this button to edit it, by default, it's going to be unpublished. So when you go through the steps, you will have to submit the mission a second time to make your commits stick. So just know that if you click the edit button, you're gonna have to submit your mission again 
there won't be two missions. It'll just be that single mission. But it basically sort of, as soon as they fix the icon issue, I'll, I'll upload. I've got some more missions for the DC area I'll make live. And I'm taking suggestions as well. So you don't have to just be in the DC area. If you live somewhere else around the world, let me know. And we will, uh, we, I will make those missions for you. All right. Thanks for watching. And remember that you can watch Behind the Scanner every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. This week we have Dark G from Germany and Gustavo Guevara from uh, Switzerland actually on. You can watch last week's episode at our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash behind the scanner, where we had Brian Rose on from Niantic. And yeah, that was a pretty good interview, I must say. So, all right. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.